John Rambo has been fighting his battles on the big screen for nearly four decades, and now we're going to look at his tale from First Blood to Last Blood and explain his action-packed story. What little we know of John Rambo's early life has cobbled together from various references he and other characters have made to it over the course of the four films so far. He grew up on his dad's horse ranch, then was drafted into the US Army at the age of 18. After nine months of training, he was deployed to Vietnam, where he learned how to be really good at killing and how to tie a wicked headband. Rambo became a Green Beret and continued working in deep cover and reconnaissance missions until he was captured by the Viet Cong after an ambush and became a prisoner of war. For the next several months, he was tortured along with his comrades from Baker Team. Fortunately, Rambo managed to escape the POW camp. He returned to military service, but the deep trauma he'd suffered began to show through in the form of a nervous breakdown, leading to him eventually being honorably discharged. In December 1981, Rambo traveled to Washington State to visit Delma Barry, a friend from Baker Team, only to be told by Barry's family that he'd died as a result of Agent Orange exposure. This made Rambo the last surviving member of Baker Team. Baker Team, they're all dead, sir. Not Delma or Barry. He made it. Barry's gone too, sir. Rambo moved on and wandered into the nearby town of Hope. But a local sheriff, Will Teasel, tried to quickly usher him out of town for fear that he'd cause trouble. Rambo, who was just looking for something to eat, went back into Hope anyway, leading Teasel to arrest him. Teasel's deputies began harassing and threatening Rambo at the station. Using his Green Beret skills, Rambo fought his way out of the station before making his getaway on a stolen motorcycle. In the ensuing search, Teasel's deputy, Art Gout, began firing at Rambo from a helicopter. Rambo retaliated by hurling a rock at the chopper. As a result, the helicopter pilots lost control and Gault fell to his death. Yeah, it was self-defense, but now he was wanted for killing a cop. Dismayed over the death of Galt, Rambo tried to convince Teasel that it was an accident, and he begged the sheriff for no more trouble. Teasel, driven to rage by the loss of his friend, continued the fight, as Rambo incapacitated his deputies in the woods. The National Guard arrived to help with the search, and with them came Colonel Troutman, Rambo's former commanding officer. I didn't come here to rescue Rambo from you. I came here to rescue you from him. With the manhunt ramping up, the National Guard troops went as far as blowing up an abandoned mine to try to kill Rambo, but he escaped into the town of Hope in pursuit of Teasel. Troutman intervened and tried to convince Rambo to surrender, causing Rambo to break down in tears. Weeping and grieving, the veteran poured out all the horrors it experienced during and after the war. With Troutman's help, Rambo surrendered to the authorities peacefully, and the great warrior was ultimately sentenced to hard labor in prison. Rambo spent the next four years in prison, but that all changed when Colonel Troutman returned and offered him a presidential pardon and his freedom. In exchange, Rambo would have to assist in an operation to confirm reports of American prisoners still being held in Vietnam, under the supervision of Marshal Murdoch. Rambo reluctantly agreed to this, but the mission was rocky from the start. When Rambo spotted an American prisoner tied up out in the open, he disobeyed orders and rescued him. In the ensuing battle, Rambo destroyed a Vietnamese gunboat and asked for extraction by American forces. Murdoch, fearing a scandal if the American public found out about the remaining prisoners being left in Vietnam, left Rambo to be captured by the Vietnamese and their Russian allies. Of course, Rambo ultimately escaped and freed all the prisoners at the camp. When he returned to the American base with the POWs, Rambo immediately made for Murdoch's office and machine gunned his entire command center in classic Rambo fashion. Then he went after Murdoch, who'd left him to die. Troutman intervened and asked Rambo to walk away and take his government pardon. Rambo, once again feeling betrayed by his country's treatment of its soldiers, spared Murdoch's life. But he didn't return to America. Three years after things went crazy in Vietnam, Colonel Troutman tracked down Rambo, who was living in a kind of self-imposed exile in Thailand. Troutman asked Rambo for help in a CIA mission to provide aid to Afghan fighters battling the Soviets. Rambo declined, but when Troutman was captured in Afghanistan, Rambo decided to embark on a rescue mission. He headed over to Afghanistan to infiltrate the Soviet base where Troutman was being held. He was able to rescue Troutman, but Soviet Colonel Yasin launched a pursuit, determined to kill Rambo and Troutman both. After commandeering a Soviet tank, Rambo killed Zayson in the world's most epic game of chicken. With the battle won, Rambo and Troutman left Afghanistan together, and Rambo ultimately returned to isolation in Thailand. Around 20 years passed after the incident in Afghanistan, and during all that time, John Rambo managed to maintain his quiet life in Thailand, earning a small living by catching and selling snakes and transporting people on his boat. But that all changed when a group of missionaries from Colorado asked if he would take them into Burma to provide humanitarian aid. Rambo was reluctant. He's like, it's a war zone up there. But he agreed after one of the missionaries, Sarah Miller, convinced him that they could make a difference. And he's like, you bring any weapons? 
Rambo dropped the missionaries off in Burma, only to later be approached by the minister, who informed them of their capture by government soldiers amid a mass slaughter. A big softie at heart, Rambo agreed to aid a group of mercenaries hired by the church to rescue the missionaries. And obviously, things got super bloody. In the middle of a fierce firefight, Rambo pretty much single-handedly rescued the mercenaries and the missionaries from essentially every bad guy in Burma. After rescuing Sarah, Rambo took her message of kindness to heart, and he returned home to Arizona to visit his father for the first time in many years. Rambo Last Blood will pick up roughly a decade after the events of Rambo, and while the film hasn't been released yet, we do know a few things about the plot. Rambo seems to have stayed in Arizona, and he's made at least some kind of peace with his existence there. Last Blood will feature Rambo's niece in peril after she's abducted by a Mexican cartel. In an effort to get her back at all costs, Rambo will revisit his old combat skills one last time, heading into Mexico to battle the cartel. We don't yet know exactly how that will unfold, how much we'll learn about Rambo's home and family life, or how well he's dealing with his past trauma, but we do know two things for sure. First, Rambo Last Blood will hit theaters on September 20th, 2019. Second, there will definitely be some more blood. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and to the bell so you don't miss a single one.